Hi guys, Harleen Taiwan here. Today I'm going to start a new Let's Play series. I'm not going. I'm not sure how long it's going to be. And this is the Kerber Space Program. As you can see, there are like this green alien little guys. They are the Kerbos. And this is a fantastic game I bumped into. Unfortunately, many times it's going to kill my, crash my computer. So you will see a lot of loading and you know changing but it's gonna be okay so we have these three guys um, these are our astronauts I don't know them personally some people actually who play the game for a long time they already know who they are just by the look of them uh, just by the way they look so in the be beginning um, let's just start the game and what I'm going to do is, I'm going to start a new profile. I already played it for a while. Um, actually, I was watching some videos um, by some of the people uh, because this is something exceptionally funny. Uh, it's, uh, it's not easy because it doesn't really have... It does have some tutorials, as you can see the training here. But um, it's actually a very open game. You do... Almost like whatever you want to do and you have to figure everything out yourself. So um, I actually watched some other videos to figure out some things. And, but at the, end, at, at the end of the day, most of the things I had to figure out myself. So this is actually a great scientific... It's, a, it's, it's really a, a, a science game. Now it's called Kerbal, but as you can see, it it's, uh, resembles the Earth pretty well. Not exactly, but it's it's basically the uh, Kerbal is our Earth. The Moon is our Moon. It's called Mun or something like that. We'll see it in a minute. So let's start a new one. I'm gonna call it what else would I call it as Harley Harley in Taiwan. That's my name. I'm gonna go, uh, there are three different play ways you can play it. One is sandbox mode, when you can you have access to everything, and you can build whatever you want, basically play around, just like in a normal sandbox mode. There is one called science, where you are basically going through, you know, you have to do all kind of experiments and just um, going bigger and bigger, but uh, it's still uh, how can I say, it's still without any guidance, and then carrier mode, when you actually have, uh, you have to actually do it from the scratch, and it's going to kind of guide you through it, even though it's not going to teach you anything. Uh, the difficult options are normal, I think that's perfectly good, good as it is, it is giving you a lot of different um, datas here, I really don't worry about it, basically, I'm just I'm just going to accept it, so let's start. And we arrived at our uh, station. Now, as you can see, there are some small insignificant buildings all around the place. Um, if you have seen, if, if, if you look at some videos of people who actually made it far, these buildings, I mean, they cover the whole place. It becomes a huge building. They, they are all upgradable. Right now, they are at the very, very um, basics. So it says, Gene Kerman is our guy, who is actually kind of like, a, the, the, he's at the Space Center, and he's going to say, uh, nice to meet you, I'm Gene Kerman, flight director, and your guide for this quick introduction. This is the Space Center. From here, you can manage all aspects of the space program. Feel free to have a look around, hold the right, okay. So basically, we can look at all the buildings here. So let's do that. The most important building here, which is funny because you would mostly miss it, is this little guy here. Okay? Uh -huh. This is our mission control. <clears throat> this is Gene Kerner himself. So, as you can see, we start up with 20, 25,000, I don't know what it is, Kerber money. <clears throat> we have a reputation of slightly above zero. We basically have a a reputation that is neutral, right? You know, uh, if, if you have a bad reputation, you will have yellow. If you have a good reputation, you will have green. 
These are science points. We will get to them later. We have zero of them right now. So it says, welcome to the Space Center. Nice to meet you. I'm Gene Kermel, flight director and your guide for this quick interaction. This is the Space Center. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. It's, this, it's still the same thing. I forgot to get rid of it. I'm sorry about that. But it's still Gene Kerman, the same guy here, yes? So he's going to give us some missions. One is very easy, one is a little bit hard, two are a little bit harder, and one is very difficult. Um, and he, it has archives, it's going to be all the done missions, even if they failed. And there are some active missions, even without taking contest. Um, you're going to have here. And they are basically just speed records, whatever. Um, if you speed records, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, you don't even have to take it. It's not a contract, but you're going to get some money and reputation for them. So it's kind of like just free, how can I say it, uh, free targets. Okay. If you go to these guys, like launch our first vessel, you have to actually accept it. Okay. Um, it's and it's gonna expire after a while okay um, so every time if you take a mission we're gonna go through them later you're gonna get actually some money you're gonna get some science and you're gonna get some reputation for them okay so we'll come back here in just a minute let's go to the other buildings um, this is the main this is the building where we come Probably the most of the time. This is our assembly building. Look at this. Look at. Okay, he's still talking. Hello, I'm Werner Volkerman, Chief Rocketry Engineer. This is the vehicle assembly building. Here is where we build spacecraft and later roll them out to the launch pod for flight. Pretty impressive, isn't it? It's gonna be there. That's the launch pod. On your left, you'll find components to construct your own spacecraft. And anyway. Basically, it doesn't teach you anything. It says if you need anything more, go to the training section. Okay? So, look at this place. I'm gonna actually just... Uh, wait a minute. Um, i just gonna put something here so that I can show it to you. Look at that. You can look at all different angles. There are a lot of Kerbals running around. Um, they don't really care that there is something right here. It's a huge space. Okay, pretty tall as well, because, you know, sometimes rocket can get quite, quite tall. Okay, so this is the, I'm actually going to put this back, I don't want it right now. Okay, so uh, that's going to be where we build things. I'm just hoping that this is not crashing on me because sometimes it does. Now, a very important building as well here is the training facility. We have five Kerbals who are actually at our disposal right now, who are in our training. Jebediah Kerman, a pilot, he's, I don't know, uh, veteran players, you know, they all know these guys by heart. Uh, there are two pilots, Jebediah and Valentina. There is one engineer, Bill, and one is scientist, Bob. You have a lot of other guys. Right now, we only have 25000 in money, so we cannot hire anybody. And they are all measured by courage and stupidity. I don't really know, honestly, uh, how to say that. <laughs> I mean, what that really means, but we'll figure it out probably soon enough. Anyway, this is this building. And then there is this very important building, the science. Now, here is all the science we have to basically explore, where we, at the end of the day, we can go to like places like this, when we get very, very high level things. Like this thing is a rapier engine is actually, I don't know, there is a, there is an, uh, I, I'm not really good at real science, so there is some real, today's top engine is, would be like here, so it's, it's pretty much everything is actually 
re resembling the real world. So it's, it's, even though it's a game, it's really a science uh, project thing. Now, right now, the only thing is that is available for us is a basic fin, a common pod, a very simple solid fuel booster, booster some mystery goo, we'll get back to it, a grider segment, and parachute. That's all what we have. Now, if we want to open anything, like basic rocketry here, we will need science. How many science do we need? We need five science to research them. And when we have five science, then we're going to have these things available. Okay? Uh, if we get this one, we can open this one. If we have both of them, then we can open this one. If we have this one, we can open this one. So we can go up and up and up, like like in an RPG. So it's it's kind of set up like an RPG kind of thing, which is great. Another thing what we can see, this is going to show our science. Uh, so far, nothing happened. Okay, As you can see, our Kerbin, which is our Earth actually, has a Mun or Moon, and also a Minmus, which I, I have no idea what it is. It's basically, we have two moons apparently. And we have some other objects. Basically, it's pretty much resembling the universe. I mean, uh, our solar system. The sun is the sun. And then the actual, it it's pretty much looks, it looks as if they were just a normal, you know, what we really have in our universe, in our solar system. They just got different names. And every time we do a science, it's going to be the, here. Because we need science. The way to get science is to do science. Now, the way you do science is you have to have experiments. You have to be in different situations. And you actually have to explore different places. And when you do that, you end up getting science. Um, we'll see it as we, as we go on. There is another building here, which is going to be important, even though right now it's kind of insignificant for us. This is the tracking station. Um, as you can see, oh, that's the moon. It's actually tracking the moon right now. It's not that far, is it? Well, we can go... It's the moon and the Mimus. So there are, as I said, two moons are running around uh, the Earth right now. Uh, hi again, this is Gene again. This is the tracking station facility. In here you can view all of the solar system as well as the current positions and trajectories of all ongoing missions. When you have missions in progress, you will see them listed on the panel at your left. You will be able to take command of them from this team. Sometimes contracts may require specific destinations in orbit or on the surface. Those will available also be visible here. Lastly, if you want to see the same map, uh, okay. Now, if I go out, wow, this is my whole solar system, look at that, okay, so we are here in Kerbin, and then we have all the other ones around, and as you come closer, 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 then we can see, okay, now, it tracks all kind of objects we're gonna go through through later then. So this is gonna be a very fun place to come. And it's a necessary place to come later on. Um, this building here, I haven't actually got around using it, but sooner or later I'll have to. You know, we have very limited funds, so we actually have to manage various aspects of the game other than just the science. If we only manage the science, it's not gonna be enough. Um, we have finances, we can have funding campaigns. Now what happens is, um, well first of all it, has, it needs some reputation, we don't have, but basically it's gonna give us some money if we give up some reputation. So if, if we make reputation, it's gonna give us reputation points. If we make up a lot of reputation, we can actually get some money for them. We can license patent. Again, it's going to take away some science, but it's going to give us, for every sci science point, it's give us some money. Um, so it's kind of, uh, 
you know and then the science guy here have research okay for example if you if you really need science and you don't know how to get some more you can actually get some science if you have a lot of reputation but you need to have a lot of reputation okay again this one basically you can get some free science well not free because you have to like here you have to pay some money for some science okay um, it's not gonna give you funds it's not gonna give you science but Well, I'm not sure about this one, honestly. So, anyway, then we have public relations. We can get reputation. And we have operations. Basically, it's gonna... I don't even know what it does. I think we're gonna get to a later point when we're gonna... When you're gonna see that, okay? What else do we have? Um, we have the launch pod. Right now, no saved vessel found. You know, if you already made some different vessels and you save them, you can put them here. Uh, so there is nothing we can do. And also we have a running uh, uh, a runway. Again, uh, we haven't made any. Oh, we also have a hangar where we can make um, like not spacecraft kind of things but actually more like airplanes but right now we, do, we really don't have anything to do that honestly but as you can see this is not as tall as the other one I just put it here so that i can see as you can see it's going to be in horizontal way because it's going to be a um, like an airplane and it's much smaller much uh, you know it's a different kind of hunger but basically the same idea okay so um, we don't need to save that so we will stop here and this will be our um, first video and we will continue later bye bye